Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today with all of you, I'm redoing my own toenails, so without any further delay, let's get started. My beautiful French manicure has already grown out and has terribly suffered. I'll admit I'm not the most careful when walking around, so this isn't my first injury on my big toenail. It doesn't hurt, but I did injure it pretty badly, so not only did the coating come off, but also the entire nail. I'm starting off by removing the remaining material with my nail drill. Sometimes I do think that dissolving the coating in a liquid would be easier. Uh, there would be a whole lot less dust, but I'm just so used to removing the coating with my nail drill. I'm also going to have to remove the crack. It's not only from lifting, but it actually goes all the way down to the nail from having hit my toe so hard. So I'm getting straight to work by removing the lifting. I'm going around this area with my nail drill and removing all the material around in order to fully see the crack. Further, I'm cutting off this part of the nail with nippers and also taking care of the length on the free edge. I've filed down the free edge, cleaned up, and continued further with the rest of my toenails. Since the hit was on my right toe, it was really difficult to work with. I'm right-handed, making it a lot easier to just turn my left foot and work on my toenails. Filming this actually wasn't a problem at all, however, me looking down on my toenail is another story. I'm working on it pretty much just by feel, um, as I couldn't really see much or get any closer. I'm using a rounded edge flame bit to clean up the dry skin around my toenail and being super careful around the cuticle area, not going underneath whatsoever, which is really important when completing a pedicure. The cuticle is there as a defense organism and since our feet are a lot more exposed to dust and other elements, going underneath the cuticle area would result in bacteria, so I'm only cleaning up the dry skin. After cleaning my toenails from any dust, I'm taking a curette and removing any dry skin from the sides. This has to be removed, uh, otherwise it'll thicken and cause pressure in those areas. A big mistake when doing pedicures is deeply cutting the corners of your toenail, which you should never do. This will cause ingrown nails.
On my damaged toenail, I have applied a primer and base. And after having let it dry, I'm applying our gel. Any poly gel or other thick gel works great in these kind of situations. I've let it cure underneath the lamp and now I'm freeing the edge just a little bit from the skin by pushing it underneath. The material doesn't stick to your skin, so you just need to move it off. Further, I'm taking my nail file and evening out the edge. And it's like nothing had ever even happened. I usually go for a French manicure or a pretty neutral gel polish on my toenails. However, today I wanted to spice things up a little bit and go with this beautiful neon yellow. And I have been seeing a lot of crystal designs on Instagram lately that I've really been wanting to try, so I'm also adding some crystals. You definitely don't want to add crystals though if you're going around in closed shoes. Even though I did have to cut my toenails a little shorter than usual because of the injury, I think they turned out really cute and perfect for summertime. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.